Syrian opposition is really made up of three primary groups. One are the people on the ground who are opposed to the regime. Some have long-standing grievances against the regime. These are folks who associate with the Muslim Brotherhood, the longest standing opposition group to the Assad regime. And they're also very much concerned with folks who are supportive of the regime and taking action on their own. An organization called the Shabiha, which are essentially militias or paramilitary forces that are carrying out regime-inspired actions of violence against folks. And so the second group of people who are involved in the opposition are really the what are called the expatriate opponents. Those people who live outside of Syria uh, those who are members of groups that have been banned or who are dissidents or exiles who've left previously, and they've formed organizations in order to create an organized opposition. The third group is the armed opposition. The one that is most notable is what's called the Free Syrian Army. And this is an interesting organization, but all the evidence suggests that these are primarily either soldiers who've defected to go back to their towns and communities and villages to protect their family, uh, or they are local civilians that have taken up arms and trying to organize themselves at the community level, uh, at the block or town or village level, to protect themselves and their families from Syrian government forces and security forces and the Shabiha. There is no direct evidence of al-Qaeda being actively uh, involved in Syrian opposition directly, although an extended period of chaos or a civil war may lead to opportunities for al-Qaeda to take root.